Hello YouTube, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to create falling bricks, uh, a brick wall basically that's gonna be, uh, that's gonna have some gravity and we're gonna make it fall down also. So first things first, let's make our brick. Just click the square button, you get a block but it's not a brick shape. So let's make it a brick shape. Uh, let's go the X, let's make a Y 50. Um, Z that's that's our brick right there and you know what control Z and we're gonna pull it up um, 25 that's gonna make it exactly level with the floor when we add the floor so now first things first uh, let's add a floor actually yeah floor not a plane but a floor okay now we have a brick but um, just one brick isn't gonna cut it but um, let's click our floor and go to simulation dynamics and create a collider let's go to our cube and go to simulations dynamics create rigid body now I have it as a shortcut right here but that's how you're, you're gonna do it if you don't um, so now we need to make more bricks so we can make a brick wall so we're gonna go to MoGraph cloner okay so we have a cloner we're gonna put the cube in the cloner and now as you can see we have bricks but they're not quite aligned properly so we're gonna pull the cloner up 25 on the y-axis so 25 that's the good thing about having knowing your measurements and keeping them simple and um, let's look at our cloner so it's offset by 50 which is perfect means uh, if we play it right now it's perfectly set up um, okay but we don't want it to go on the x-axis if we want it it was if you if we did want it uh, it was perfectly set up but we don't so we're gonna change the y to zero now on our cube you can see our x size is 200 so which means I'm gonna put x here 200 uh, I'm getting Skype messages I'm not gonna check it it's gonna be a distraction but sorry I'm not gonna check it right now and we can change the count to a lot okay let's make our brick wall a little short right this for the sake of the tutorial I don't want to crash my computer because my recording software is running and this so now what do we do with this okay so we have our first brick set up and if we play it they stay there uh, which means it's good then um, let's click the cloner and let's uh, make it editable and that's gonna give us just more cubes just better than a cloner um, so let's go to MoGraph again and click cloner and put the cloner up here and this time let's see okay this time it's set up correctly but we're gonna have to put it up on the y-axis again Ooh. 25 okay correct and now if you just uh, change the count more and you get a larger brick wall just gonna keep it up to here okay that's enough for us and let's just move it back here okay okay some of you might be wondering uh, the brick is in the edge but why it's not falling down um, that's because uh, uh, we added a floor and not a plane and a floor um, is infinite basically so let's, let's change the size so we can still see right? feel a little secure actually y needs to be zero ok great uh -uh, we changed some things Yes, we shouldn't have done that. Okay. So we have our bricks and our brick dynamics aren't exactly great. 
so we're gonna click on this dynamics tag and hold down shift and click this so all of the dynamic tags are selected go to collision and to the friction turn it up to about 60 okay turn the bounce down to like uh, I don't know like uh, 15 okay it should be better to still move a little and our floor floors dynamic tag we need to turn the friction up to like 70 and the bounce is right okay so now we have a brick wall let's render it and see how it looks uh, looks like this horrible lighting um, so we're gonna change that in a minute you know we should have really uh, put materials on before we started so let's put some materials on let's make some materials all right two one for the floor the floor we're gonna make it completely white but it doesn't make it white so let's turn the width up So that's our floor right there. Okay, and for our bricks, um, let's go with something like you know what? Let's go with something like a little bit gray, but um, 